This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Principles, Unit 5, Building Apps, Lesson 17, Building an App, Canvas Painter, Puzzle 4, Changing Colors in Canvas. Awesome. We would like to make our dots transparent, okay, so that we can see when they are drawn on the top of each other. That would make sense. To set the color and transparency of shapes you draw on your canvas, you need to change both the stroke or the outline color and the fill color. Yep, the outline is stroke, right? It is, that's what it's called. And fill color is the color inside. The function set stroke color and set fill color can be used to set those colors. Sure. Uh, these functions accept strings of the form. So RGBA, A is what's going to impact the transparency of a color. Uh, 100, 200, 100, and then A is 1 to 0, right? So 0.5 would be 50% transparent as input. The first three values in the string are RGB values, and the last value is transparency, as represented by a decimal number 0 to 1.0. All together, they look like this. Do this. Before the loop, add a set color command. Okay. To set the stroke to fully transparent. Okay, so that means we're setting the outline of a circle to completely transparent so we want to set color wait set stroke color command and we want to do like they have up here so i'm just going to type in r g b a and then parenthesis uh zero comma zero comma zero comma the colors won't matter because we're going to put zero which makes it completely see-through so that will make our stroke completely see through. Now let's do a set fill color. Add a set fill color command to set your dots to fully black and mostly transparent. Try a value of uh, 0 0.2. Okay, let's do that then. RGB, um, RGB, parenthesis. And then for black, we want 0 and 0 and 0 is going to be a black color. And then we want it almost completely transparent. So 0 0.2 means there's only 20% of our color left, right? Or 80% see-through. Let's give it a shot. I guess I don't need all these spaces. Reset, run. But da And mine's going super fast. I can always slow it down. So this is just looping through, right? We start with i equal to 0. i must be always less than 200. i++. plus plus. We're adding 1 to i each time. It hits circle, and it says, okay, where am I going to draw this circle? This is my x value. The computer shoots out, I don't know, 155 randomly, and then 111. And so it plops down a circle with a 20 radius at that location. It then hits the bottom of this and says, okay, well, i++. plus plus. So now i is 1. Okay. And it's going to draw another circle. It spits out another random x value, maybe 305, and maybe 217 for y, 20 radius, draws it. So, ta-da, we get a fancy picture. Awesome. Let's uh, keep going.